Hello and welcome to Trains and Fiatic. In this episode, I'm connecting my ESU mobile controller to uh, to my ECOS Fiverr home network. In the previous episode, I showed you how to connect it to your home network. So this one, I'll be connecting it and showing you for initial boot and then have a quick play with the trains. Since the last video I've connected the lanyard and removed the protective plastic off the screen and gave it a good old charge so I'll turn it on and show you how everything goes. I turn it on by holding the button up at the top and you can see it's loading for Android screen. So this will take a few seconds but I have shown you the booting in the previous episode so just let it do its loading. I have the ECOS connected to the home network via Ethernet so this just need to go down to our home uh, if home uh, wireless network point and then go up to the switch which then send it to the ECOS. Uh, one thing you want to consider doing whenever if you do get one of these units is to charge it before uh, you play with it. As, as it's an Android device it never completely shut down. Okay, as you can see, it has now booted. I'll just go in slightly on the screen. And I'll load for uh, ECOS software. So just a quick tap on it. And here we go. Different screen to last time. And it's doing something. Select command station. Command station connected. Select to loco, so that's what I'm going to do. If I press that button there, I can click on loco list. Just letting it to download from the controller. And I think I go for a noisy train so I can show that it's working. So if I do for class 144 purple, it tells me it's Railcom and it's DCC address. I'll click on that. And it's loading so I can see all the functions. So I'll turn on for light. And I'll turn on for sound. And hoot for horn. You, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the sound or not because of the mic I'm using. But he's loading up, so I'll just hoot for horn as I can. I do apologise about that little technical difficulty. But uh, I've chosen enough for a train and let's see how it goes. This time it's a Southwest Digital Sound Chip Class 205. This is a, uh, who is it? It's a kennel model. So I'll quickly start off by turning the unit back on. So first thing I'll test is actually have an emergency stop. So it's turning for system on and off. So if I press a horn, you can hear it going. The nice thing with this controller is the four function buttons I mentioned earlier uh, in the previous episode you can uh, 
programmed to do whatever you want. Uh, I believe the error I'm having is because I haven't updated the software. I'll show you how to do this in a future episode. But uh, it's I didn't need to change any settings as soon as it's all for the ECOS on the home network it just connects straight to it. But there is an intermittent uh, network issue but uh, it could be anything so I'm not, not rolling anything out just at the moment. So I'll have a good play. Okay, I close this video with the train being run with my mobile controller too. It's a nice little unit and quite enjoyable to do. So see you next time, Richard.